Hello, friends. It's certainly good to be able to come back into your presence today to share with you a ray of hope. Today, I want to talk to you about having access to the very throne room of God, having access to God. The psalmist said in Psalm 119, verse number 115, Depart from me, evildoers, for I will keep the commandments of my God. One of the greatest things that you and I can have is access to the very throne room of God. And to have that access, uh, we must turn away from all evil and keep the commandments of God. To be one with God in this life, you need a way of accessing God. And I'm here to tell you that there is an easy way to have access to the kingdom of God, and that's to seek him with all your heart. My friend, you need a way of calling God like you would call your neighbor on the telephone, but a telephone doesn't reach the kingdom of heaven. On earth, you access God by being honest with him and by calling on his precious name. You'll never call him and get a busy signal. You'll never call him and be put on hold and have to listen to some song for two to three to five minutes. You'll never call him, my friend, and not get an answer and be sent to voicemail. But when you call God, you'll always hear his still small voice speak to your heart and you'll hear him say these words, here am I. So you can access God by pouring out everything in your life before him uh, without knowing if he will respond to you before you pour out your life. Uh, my friend, you pour it out anyway, trusting in faith that he will respond because he's promised us he will. To be one with God, you need faith before you ever require God to give you anything in return for your faith. To be one with God, you need to admit to him and to yourself that you are in need of a savior, a sinner in need of a savior. We're living in a time today where it would seem that many do not not consider themselves a, a sinner, but that contradicts the very pages of the infallible truth of God's word. For the Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Now to be one with God, you need to confess your sin and know that he's faithful and just to forgive you your sins and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. To be one with God, you need to tell God that you are, are sorry for sinning against him. You are sorry that he had to send his one and only son to be crucified on the cross of Calvary because of your sin. Listen, achieving oneness with God can require personal honesty with God, causing you to do painfully honest work with your heart, with your mind, and with your soul. To be one with God, you must kneel at the foot of his cross so you can hear his voice of compassion uh, say to you, I love you, my child, his voice of compassion and understanding uh, that will reach into your very life. Yes, you do, and you can have access to God at any given moment. He's always on call. He's never off duty. He, he'll come to you and he'll touch you and he'll help you as you live your life on this side of eternity. So give him a call. You have access to the throne room of God. Father, today, how we thank you and praise you that we have access to the very throne room of God. Now, Lord, today, I pray that you'll bless the one who may be struggling and who may be having a hard time with coping with life. Give them, Lord, the knowledge to know that they have access to the throne room of God and to the one who can bring peace and comfort to, even in the midst of the storms of life. God, how we thank you for that now. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Well, God bless you today, my friend. Go out into your world and make a difference. Remember that your life may be the only Bible that some will ever read. So you smile real big and let others see Jesus in you.